Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Extreme Vlogs, everyone. Recently, um, we have all learned about the sad news that um, one of the greatest luchadors to ever lace up a pair of boots, uh, one of the greatest professional wrestlers, period, um, that never really got his uh, credit in the wrestling business has passed away today. Chavo Guerrero Sr. was when he, the day he was born, he was born and bred into a wrestling dynasty. And probably the most famous Guerrero is Eddie Guerrero, who was the youngest of the four brothers. <clears throat> you have Hector, Mano, Mondo, uh, Chavo, and Eddie. And I, Chavo was the oldest, Mondo was the second oldest, then you have Hector, and then you had Eddie. Eddie passed away at the age, I think he was shy of being 40 years old. I think actually he was 38 years old to be exact. Um, it was a sad occasion. It was a sad day when Eddie... Guerrero passed away. Um, I lost my mind. Um, I can remember like it was yesterday. Um, my parents called me downstairs. Um, after a long day, and and my parents informed me that Eddie Guerrero passed away. And at first, I thought they were joking. You know, my my parents have this type of character about them. Um, that their jokes come off a little blank. Um, my dad looked at me and said, uh, no, we're not joking. And I lost it. I started crying and sobbing all over the place because Eddie Guerrero was a wrestler that I felt um, contractually obligated to. I felt like he was a character that I was entertained by, so I automatically became close to him. In doing so, I became close to his family. Uh, not literally. I mean, I don't literally know the Guerrero family. But they are one of wrestling's greatest families. They're up there with the hearts. You know, as one of the greatest. They're up there with the McMahons. Even though, you know, people hate the McMahons, um, they respect them. The Guerreros, though... Have a different style than the Hearts, different style than the McMahons, different style than a lot of other families uh, in the wrestling industry. Their style was catch and can, catch as catch can wrestling. It was the best type of wrestling. I hate people sometimes interrupting my video with their stupid car alarms. I like to blow that car up. This is a tribute video to one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, not to their stupid car. Anywho, um, Eddie Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero, Mondo, and Hector were um, one of the greatest uh, luchadors families to ever come out of AAA wrestling. On tape, I have them four competing against four other luchadors in AAA, which is a wrestling promotion that's um, not doing so hot right now. But at the time, these eight individuals went out there and they put on one hellacious match. Not just a match that was physical, not just a match that was aerial, not just a match that was um, a wrestling match. I mean, actual wrestling match. But a match that was very entertaining, had high-quality performances. See, the Guerrero family were not just a family that could go out there and they could entertain the masses. They could also wrestle. They could do every type of wrestling move. They could do a submission. They could be technicians. They could do high-risk, high-reward, high-offense. Um, they could be brawling. They could be physical. They could do pretty much anything and everything. 
And when you talk about wrestlers that can do anything and everything, you're talking about the best. You're talking about the elite. You're talking about the best professional wrestlers in the history of our organization that we cheer for on a nightly basis. I wanted to make this video because Eddie Guerrero was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame soon after his passing. And Eddie Guerrero was respected by Vince. Eddie Guerrero was respected by Stephanie, Triple H, uh, a lot of his peers in the back. Chavo Guerrero is respected just as much throughout the wrestling world, throughout the wrestling landscape. He's done a lot for a lot of superstars. Um, he's worked with a lot of different superstars, and he's helped to mold a lot of superstars together. Um, today, he passed away. But his legacy will continue forever. It's not just because his legacy is um, every match that he's performed in. It's not just because every move that he's ever created, uh, every uh, moment that he's ever uh made memorized in our minds is because he literally not just figuratively but literally is one of the best wrestlers that was overlooked um he see the guerrero family were guys that could make people make fans actually hate them make them hate them to a point that they would throw food at them, that they would spit on them, that they would cuss at them and get vile and violent with them. And that today is not seen. We do not have any hills that currently are in the business that have food thrown at them or are spit at. I mean, nowadays that's looked down upon as well, but there's no characters that get underneath your skin like the Guerrero family did. And they did it very well. But they could also make you love them as well. Chavo Guerrero, this video is mainly made for one main reason. To give respect, to give tribute to a fallen comrade, a fallen warrior, a fallen uh, friend, amigo, a former wrestler, um, one of the best wrestlers. But it's also here to argue a case. Should Chavo Guerrero Sr. be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? My answer is most definitely. This year, no. This year's cast and crew of the Hall of Fame has already been chosen. I mean, we may not know every pick and every selection but they've been chosen. Um, every single one of them has been chosen. But next year, next year, in my opinion, they haven't been chosen. They've only been thought about. So the WWE needs to get off of their rear ends and come together to give respect to another fallen wrestler. See, Chavo Guerrero Sr. passed away today, not because he took his own life, not because he overdosed on pills, not because he drank himself to death, but because he passed away after a long fight from cancer. I think that's the worst way to go out. I think that's the worst way to go out. We're you fight opponents in the ring. You make them tap out. You make them surrender. You make them bleed. And you make them never wanting to return to the ring again. And then he has the biggest fight of his life. He fights liver cancer. And he battles it. And he believes he can defeat it like he's defeated so many other foes like he's crippled so many other foes like he's made so many other foes tap out 
I want to say that today, Chavo Guerrero passed away, but he's not dead. Chavo Guerrero Sr. lives through all of us. Chavo Guerrero Sr. is the inspiration of a nation. Chavo Guerrero Sr. is not going to uh, go away anytime soon. His wrestling style is used today, and it's going to continue to be used into the future. Wrestlers like Rey Mysterio, wrestlers like Alberto El Patron, wrestlers like Conad, wrestlers like Ricochet and others have used similar styles or styles that match up key to key with his style, with the Guerrero's style. I want to say that the WWE needs to induct him into the Hall of Fame. They should induct him into the Hall of Fame. It's sad to see what has happened, um, but I want to give all my respect, all my honor, and say that I am here for whoever needs it. I am most certainly here for the Guerrero family. The day that I found out that Eddie Guerrero passed away, my heart ripped in half. It's like I lost a best friend. I mean, he entertained me for years. He was the inspiration to me. And losing Chavo... Losing Superfly Jimmy Snuka, losing Rowdy Piper, losing the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. It's heartbreaking. It's sad. It's confusing. And, but it's just the times that we live in. You lose some of the best. You lose some of the greatest. And Chavo was one of the greatest. Chavo was one of the toughest, and he will forever be one of the best. So I'm going to sign off on this video and um, say, uh, rest in peace, Chapo Guerrero Sr. You, my friend, will be missed. And I can't wait until one day I get to meet you again. Because when I was a young kid, I remember like it was yesterday, actually. My uh, mother worked at Walmart. And one day they had uh, Chavo Guerrero Sr. and a couple other uh, wrestlers. I can't remember the other wrestlers' names, though. They were um, independent wrestlers. And I met Chavo Guerrero. And it was awesome. And I have the picture somewhere in my house. And uh, I don't know where it's at. But uh, Chavo Guerrero Sr. is plain and simply an awesome icon, an awesome friend, and one of the best professional wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots. I will truly miss them. Until next time, be extreme, stay extreme, and please, please give some respect to the fallen wrestlers who have paved the way in entertaining us. It may not mean like a lot, but wrestlers like Chavo Guerrero Sr., Dusty Rose, Jimmy Snuka, Rowdy Piper, Andre the Giant, all these, you know, the list goes on and on and on, and even Eddie Guerrero. They paved the way for us to watch people like The Undertaker, people like Roman Reigns, people like Dean Ambrose, and many others to come out and entertain us. 
I am excited for the future, but I'm saddened by what has happened today. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, next time we'll have a more uplifting video, hopefully. Um, I just, I want to give total respect and total honor to the fallen comrade, Chavo Guerrero Sr. I love you, man.